Welcome to Mr. Fleming's History Channel. Today, let's review the three hidden problems in the 1920s. The 1920s was a period of immense prosperity, growth, and hope. The Roaring Twenties looked like they would continue forever. Yet under the surface, unseen by most, three events were going on that would bring the prosperity crashing down. The first thing that was going on was something called protectionism. Protectionism is a policy of protecting domestic industries from foreign competition by placing tariffs on foreign imports. A good example of this is with the price of rice in Japan. A lot of Southeast Asian countries like Thailand can manufacture or grow rice much cheaper than they do in Japan. Therefore, when they sell it in the Japanese market, it is much cheaper. Japanese public or the Japanese consumers would therefore tend to buy the cheaper version of rice. However, the Japanese government wants to protect Japanese farmers, so they would charge a tariff or import tax on Thai rice. This would raise the, the price of the Thai rice above the Japanese rice. Therefore, Japanese consumers would purchase Japanese rice, thus protecting Japanese rice growers. In the 1920s, there was a lot of protectionism going on. A lot of countries were trying to protect their domestic market and become strong again after the war. This was really good if your economy was constantly growing like it was in the United States in the early 20s. However, if there was a downturn in your economy, in your country, then there would be no place for your goods to be sold. As a result, your economy would continue to spiral down even farther. The practice of protectionism was setting up countries for a big economic downturn. The second underlying issue going on during the 1920s had to do with the agricultural section. Agriculture is the art and science of cultivating the soil, growing crops, and raising livestock or animals. Basically, what we're talking about here is there is something going on in the farming section in the United States that's going to lead to the downfall of the 1920s. During World War I, French farmland was destroyed, meaning that France needed to search for other places to get their food. One of those places was the United States. American farmers saw this as a good time to make money. So they decided to invest more into their farms and equipment. To get more land and machines, the farmers would go to the banks and take out loans. The war soon ended, though, and farmers started to lose their French market as the French started to produce their own food again. Many farmers were not able to pay back the bank loans and the banks seized their land and machines. This created a lot of farmers that were now homeless and unemployed wandering around the United States. That brings us to the third thing that was going on during the 1920s that would lead to its own downfall, and that was speculation. Speculation is when somebody invests in stocks or properties or other things in the hope of gaining stuff but there is the risk of possibly losing everything. During the 20s, the stock market just kept growing and growing and growing. Many people, banks and countries as well, dreamt of making money by investing in the stocks. They all believed that the stock market would just continue to grow and everyone would become rich. This dream encouraged many individuals, companies, banks, and even countries to borrow money to buy more stocks. Everyone speculated that their earnings from the stocks would pay off their loans and interest while leaving them with a huge profit. However, soon some investors realized that the stocks were overvalued 
buy a lot. They rushed out to sell their stocks. Other investors saw this and sought to sell theirs as well. Because so many people were selling their stocks, prices drastically fell. The day the stock market crashed was called Black Tuesday. And Black Tuesday is considered the first day of the Great Depression. Black Tuesday shook the American nation and the world. To begin with, many investors lost all of their money. Unable to face their family and friends, many chose to commit suicide. Since they lost their money, they could not pay back their loans. The banks went broke and anyone who kept their money in those banks lost everything. With so many people losing all their money, the amount of goods and services purchased fell. The economy started its downward spiral. The Great Depression had started. It would take almost a decade, massive changes in society, and a world war to finally bring the Great Depression to an end. Remember, the three underlying problems in the 1920s were protectionism, agriculture, and speculation. All would eventually lead to the end of the prosperity in the 1920s and the beginning of the Great Depression in the 1930s. Thanks for watching. I hope this helps.